I'm, I'm good now. 100%, yeah, it's straight. I'm just, good now, yeah. You guys got to be careful. It sounds like everybody's getting a little taste of it, huh? Yeah, you just got to sanitize your hands every time you eat or something like that. I don't know what's going on, but I caught it when we left the little restaurant. You're, so. one, of, you're one of the leaders on this team, obviously, and uh, no Bradley, no Noah now for the game. Is yeah. A lot of pressure on the offense to score a lot of points. Is you guys you guys ready for that challenge? Oh, of course, definitely. You know, that's what we came here for, I score a lot of points, you know. Um, Show your talents, you know, you got to be prepared as well, too. So you got to be focused while you do it. Is it? Uh, is there some, some part of you personally that's excited to go, you know, you and Taj, two elite quarterbacks, obviously, in a game, of, and you guys are the only show in town on Friday night? Oh, it's going to be fun to watch. I mean, it's going to be a lot of competition out on the field, and, you know, it's going to be competitive. That's what I like. It's a night game, too, and uh, it's going to be fun. Hey, Braxton, you know, the, the past uh, with, with Taj almost coming here, he said that he uh, – heard about you on his recruiting trip while you were still in high school. That's how much people are anticipating you coming to Ohio State. Uh, how much different do you think your decision would have been had Taj come here? Uh, I don't know. I, had no, I ain't know nothing about that. And, uh, you know, I mean, was, I have no idea. I have no answer for that. Talk about playing in the rain today. What do you think that did for you guys to prepare for Friday? Uh, it's it's kind of weird, man. You know, you're trying to grip the ball and it slips out of your hand look kind of funny coming out. You know, the guys, they're trying to focus and, you know, trying to trying to lock it in, but uh, you know, probably got to work at it. You know, it's, you, don't, you don't get a rain like this and stop every 15 minutes and start up again, so it's kind of weird. So. We're asking to be missing a few guys on D. How concerning is that? Do you sense this team has rallied around you know, losing Spence, maybe Roby, some other guys? What, what, what's the feeling here? Uh, you know, you got to prepare the guy that's behind them. You know, everybody's on scholarship. You know, they came here for a reason. So next guy behind got to be prepared and be focused and get ready to step in a big game. Did you expect it? This is the Noah news. Does that surprise you? Did were you guys kind of planning to go without him? Uh, we didn't know nothing about it, you know, until, you know, Coach Meyer approaches with it. And uh, he's a good he's a good kid. You know, things happen at some type, you know, in life. And you got to deal with it and just move on from it. Just learn from it. Braxton, it's been – Few weeks since you guys have been out there to play a game again. Uh, what's it like, you know, going so long without playing a game, especially after things didn't go your way the last time, and now you're about a day and a half away from being able to get back out there. Uh, you just gotta keep your eyes on the prize. You know, just come out here every day and just work and just uh, just, get, just make it like game day. You know, just gotta come out here like it's, it's game rep every time. You gotta go and touch the field and uh, gotta keep the guys going. Sometimes you know they get lazy at times, but you know you gotta pick them up. You know, as a leader, I am. I just tell them, let's keep going and let's and let's go out there and let's win this W. Then we can have fun. Brad, what will this offense be better? What will this offense be better at than it was the last time you guys played for the month of practice? Um, you know, they'd be more prepared. You know, guys, you know, line up on the wrong side of the ball. You know, they would get into the right right position and things like that. We just got to be more prepared and make it more crisp and make it more fun. And you know, as that and just. You're looking at somebody out of position, you got to stop and call a timeout and get it reorganized, and that slows it down. One of the one of the issues with that is is with preparation. Do you feel like the the, the throw game might be a little bit more uh, precise where you all would like it anyway, uh, with the time to prepare those sorts of things? Oh yeah, of course. You know, guys got to get their legs back too as well, and um, you got to make big plays, especially on the outside end. And um, just got to just got to be ready and go out there and just show out. You know, it's gonna be a night game and just have fun with it. You okay? Bugs all gone. Yeah, it's good. I'm good now. What was, it like? what was the bug like? What you done? It's not yeah. good. I, I hope y'all none of y'all get it. So stay away from the football guys, especially old linemen. Did it affect your wakeboarding? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Yeah, I got it back. How did you guys spend last night, New Year's Eve? Did you guys do anything special? Uh, I didn't. Um, I went to the mall. That's about it. And uh, got like a T-shirt. And I just chilled at the hotel and watched the Texas and A&M game. Orange Bowl T-shirt? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they give them out. <laughs> what did you think of Manziel last night? That's good, man. He, he was balling. He's a baller. You know, you make plays, and he's a leader of his team, and that's how you, that's how you go out there and lead, lead the last game of the season. So. To see a performance like that, does that fire you up? Put on a show. I mean, does that inspire you to watch another guy? Oh, yeah. How does that inspire you? It's when we make you be much better than you are. You know, it's make you looking at another guy, you know, doing his thing the day before your game, and he's like, man, I got to do much better because everybody's going to be watching. Yeah. So you got to be prepared and just go out there and have fun with it. That's what he was doing. He was just having fun. The thing with bowl games, you have so much time to sit and think and watch tape and almost overanalyze, it seems. Uh, are are y'all sick of talking about it? I mean, and, and how do you avoid overanalyzing, just, just preparing and comfortably playing instead of just, you know, going crazy about things? 
Uh, you know, practice ties in with that too. You know, just can't sit in the film room for like two hours. You don't get real bored with that. You don't lose focus. But you come out here and you just go, um, you know, hour and a half out here. That's gonna be much better than watching film. I feel like you know, this physical preparation. You know, the seeing where the guys is on a actual field and sit on the board, and that's much better than watching film all day. What have you decided to Last do question. post bowl or? Will it be a few days or will it be a week or so? You know what I mean? When you decide to make yeah. your phone, make your mind? Uh, probably a week. I mean, a few days, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for asking. <laughs>